Welcome to this DCS Mission Editor tutorial. Today we're going to build a farm for red and blue and I'll show you a quick tip of how to make that much easier. Okay, so we're starting off on the left hand side. We're going to click the Static Objects button. We're going to go to the Heliports tab if it's not already selected and we're going to choose any of these three. So we have a farp, we have a helipad single, or you can use the invisible farp. They all work the same. We're going to use the main farp. You can rotate it as any other unit with the arrow here, or you can type in the heading of whatever you want. You can make it hidden, hidden on the planner, hidden on the MFDs, or you can make it dead. You can assign its name. You can assign its frequency. Link unit will mean that if that unit moves, it will move. That's kind of weird, but that could be useful if you have, say, a convoy of fart vehicles and you want the fart to move with them at some point in time. If you click on full info, you get the usual resource manager. This is quite complex, so maybe we'll do that in a different video. In the suppliers, you can add which airfields supply this FARP. Again, that's getting complicated. Okay, so you want your FARP to work, obviously. It's a bit stupid just having a random place to land. So you're going to click on ground units. You're going to go make sure you've got the right country selected. You're going to go to unarmed on the category. And because we're on combined joint task force, we have a lot of options, red and blue, all mixed in. Now, they've added lots of new units to the game, which means that you have more than one option for what you want to make this work, but I'm going to just use the easiest ones for me. So if we want fuel, we need the refueler M978HEMTT. If you want a blue four style refueler, if you want a red four style refueler, I would suggest using the refueler ATZ-10. And that's the start of our two different groups, red and blue. Okay, so we've got our two groups. So we're going to start with the blue group. We're just going to add another unit by using that or that. It doesn't really matter how you add units. You know how to add units by now. Next thing we want to do is get some ATC. Okay, so, if, so now we're going to find the Hummer. Okay, so it's been renamed. It's now the LUV HMMWV Jeep. Yeah, rolls off the tongue. Beautiful. We'll have one of those. That will now give us our ATC for a blue four style. Red four. And you want to scroll down for the SKP-11 mobile ATC. will work just fine. Okay, so you've got fuel, you've got ATC, but you can't shoot anything, and that makes me sad. So let's add some shooting stuff. So you used to use the M818, but that's now been basically replaced by the M939 Heavy. Here she is. Beautiful thing. That will now work the blue FARP completely. You'll have ATC, ammo, and fuel, which is excellent news. But you want a red farp and you also can't shoot anything and you know you gotta fight back. So let's add another vehicle and get the sorted out. So for the red one, I tend to use either the M375 or if you want to have armored the same as the blues, because otherwise it'd be cheating, you can use the Ural 4320-31 armored. It's up to you. There's lots of choices. But you can see as long as you keep your helicopters inside these black rings, everything should work fine. There's about 150 meter radius originally in the game for how far away stuff worked. So you might have to just add more of these groups, which is why I would suggest making a template of your favorite FARP groups. But to make the template, you come over to Templates, you select your country. So we're in Combined Giant Joint Task Force Red. You can see we've got this selected, so it's got selected group of ground two, and you name it whatever you want to name it. Click Save Template, you can come back up here, grab the template, and you can just stamp it around. Happy days, right? Same thing for blue, nice and easy, FARP done, enjoy. Okay, that concludes our FARP video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please like the video. And if you want to see more, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.